Hello guys, uh, welcome again to Computer Practice in 5 Continuous and then today we are dealing with mail merge. I'm going to show you how to, firstly I'm going to do how to do a data list and then the next I'm going to do show you how to merge the list because there are two different questions and you get your, the marks for each and every part of them. So let us go down to, go, go down to it. We're going to use the question paper from 2020, uh, I think 2023, so as an illustration. Okay, let us look at let us look at the question. Uh, you are requested to to you are requested to use the mail merge function to send the to, to to send what invoices to customers. Okay, and then the information is given to you. Who, these are your customers here, and then but use the mail merge function to create what a data file. This is your first question because this data file at the end of the day you have to print it, and when you print it you get seven months for just creating it and printing it which is going to be our first activity from there i'm going to show you how to merge the list guys mail merge is made on microsoft word on microsoft word you've got on uh, on your menu there you got mailings so mailings deals with uh okay if i can open for you the letters emails envelopes and labels so mailings is everything that is delivered to communicate with customers or any any other person or a group of people so you have to create a data list because you cannot mail if you don't have a data list so we are still under mailings and we're going to create a data list so we are going to go to select recipient but we don't have recipients we have to create them so what you're going to do you're going to type a new list but then the new list is already created for us here the assumption made by computer computer generate this list but we don't want this list here we want to do what we want to customize so we have to create our own list and i'm going to quickly show you that so we're going to go on customize columns and then we're going to delete whatever is here so that we create our own i normally delete from the bottom i saw delete uh, delete yes delete yes delete yes i do that until i reach at the top and i can create my own customized list now that i've deleted everything i click on add then i add my the names or the titles that i want on the list the first one i want is a customer name and i'm gonna type it in there then i'm gonna click ok it's gonna be there and then i'm gonna add the next one Okay, now I've customized my list. I wanted customer address, phone number, email, description, and total. The total is where I'm going to put the total amount that the customer owes or that, or that we are billing them. So now that I'm happy with the list, I click on OK. So the list is up there. You can see it. And you can see that it looks like a spreadsheet. If I point between the, 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 the two cells, there's, there's arrows pointing inside the list. I can stretch my cells. I can stretch my cells like that so that it looks neat and proper from here i can start capturing data i start capturing data from the first cell and then the the list will be given to you even in the question paper is going to be there then you copy whatever is given to you you type it in in there okay you'll also realize that on the phone number in the list one of the phone numbers they're going to allow you to put the examination number the reason is because that the address list is printed differently from other documents. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to put a, hotel, a, 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 a header or a footer. Hence, they allow you to put your, phone, your, your uh, examination number on the phone, phone address so that they can identify whose document it is. However, you are able to print a, a footer or a header using other uh, uh, ways, but we're going to stick to this one. I'm gonna put a dummy. Uh, I'm gonna put a dummy uh, ID number there, which is your examination number. Then complete the rest of the table and put a new another customer. So, the data source is complete. I've got three, two, two customers. I can have like a million of them. I've got ten thousand of them. I can have hundreds of them. But this is a demonstration. So, what you go, when you're done with capturing everybody, then you click on OK. Then it sends you to, and it's asking you here, you can see it doesn't have a name. It, and then it's got a location, it says document data source. It means that is the location, document 
data source but you must still give it a name so we're going to call it what we're going to call it um, clients we're going to call it clients and then we're going to save it we're going to save now it is saved so that the, now we know the name we know the location where it's saved so that when we want to retrieve it and print it we can print it okay now that you have saved your source and you need seven marks you need to print that document so most students they struggle to find where they saved their data source so this is how you you go about it so you can go to the bottom of your computer and look for documents or you can just type my documents you can just type my documents and then when you go to documents i'm gonna minimize this quickly uh, you can go to the yellow folder look for documents or type documents and it's gonna give you documents you click on it after you click on it you're gonna go to documents under documents you are under documents but you're not actually looking for documents you're looking for documents and in the documents you're looking for data source you click on you click you type the word under search you type data source and it gives you data source you can see there for my data is there i can double click on it and it gives me all the data sources that i've created and i've got there invoices then it's going to display and when it displays because you have to print it you have to enable content and then you click on address list and it's going to display when it displays because you have to print it you're going to click on file print and you go to your uh, print i'm going to do print preview because I don't, i'm not connected to the printer but you can click on print i'm going to firstly watch it print preview you can see there's my data source you can see it says page one and at the top it says office address list and my id number is somewhere there that's when i can just click on print so then my data source is going to print like this that's how you print a data source the next activity is going to be merging the data source with the uh, on the letters so we're going to end this topic here and then we're going to move to how to merge your list with your letters your data source is going to appear something like this and then they say they want it on uh, on landscape so you're going to print select how you want to print it but it must have office address list and it's going to have an ad, ad, the date and your uh, examination number is going to appear there then you print your data source thanks for watching this one we're going to move now to how to go to the next question where we are merging the data and the mailings and we're producing two because we've got two customers we're going to produce two mails thank you very much please share subscribe and then keep following like and subscribe